Hi everyone, Petalus Bless is here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys a mirrored wall art that I want to make. I was on Pinterest looking at their mirror designs and they have some lovely ones on there. And I saw one that I liked, but it had um, round, large round mirrors, mirrors, which I don't have any large round mirrors, but I have the mirrors from the Dollar Tree. All right, everyone. Let's get into the items that we'll be using. We have this foam board that I got from Dollar Tree. And we have the round mirrors that we'll be using from the Dollar Tree. Now I have these gems I got from Dollarama. I'm not sure if I'll be using them, but I will see as we go along. And we have our E6000 and our tools, our glue gun and our scissors. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, we're going to start by placing our round mirrors onto the foam board so we can get to um, the pattern we want and to cut out the foam that we'll be needing to hold our mirrors together. Okay, now I'm just going to take a pen and mark little dots where the mirrors um, come together. And now we're just going to trace the square out by connecting the dots and now we're just going to cut out the square that because this is all we'll need to hold our mirrors together okay now we place the mirrors back onto the foam board and we're just gonna Turn the mirrors over and put the glue, the E6000, onto the spot that's connecting to the foam board. And glue our mirrors down, you guys. And I'll be putting the E6000 along with the hot glue gun. The glue gun will hold it for now, and the E6000 will make a permanent hold. All right, everyone, I was going to put a mirror in the middle, but I changed my mind. I'm going to add two pieces of foam because the waste of a mirror won't be shown anyways. So the two pieces of extra foam board will help support the mirrors up. So I'm going to do it that way. I think that's a better solution. So we'll just glue it down and continue placing our mirrors. All right, everyone, now that we're finished, you can see the foam board sticking out between the creases of the mirror. So I'm going to turn it upside down and we're going to cut out those little spots that are showing. So all we have to do is cut out a triangle between each space where the foam board is showing through the mirrors. And here's our finished look, you guys. Our mirrored wall art. I think it also looks nice on the table as a centerpiece. <laughs> I think it looks very cute with the flowers on top. But anyway, this is not what I made it for. So let's get into showing you what I did make it for. And here we go. I made it for wall art to go above my bed is where I placed it. I think it looks very nice. Now it does look nice like this. I like how it turned out, but for me, 
For the scale of it next to my bed, I think it's a little too small. So I'm going to add some pieces to it and show you what I did. And here's a new look, you guys. I love it now. I absolutely love it like this. <laughs> I think it looks much better. Bigger? It's a bigger, it looks much bigger and it's nicer for the wall against my bed. I like how it looks now. And what I did was I added these mirrors on the outside. So that's two, four, six, eight mirrors. I added going around the outside of the original mirrors that I had up. All I did was I used some command strips on each mirror and just sticked it up on the wall and made this bigger pattern. I love it. And I also used command strips to hang up the whole thing. <laughs> I used the large command strips on the mirror. I used four large command strips and on the individual mirrors that I added, I used the small command strips, one each. Now these two little wall art that I have, mosaic wall art that I have up from before, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them up there, but for now I'll keep it up there. Let me know what you think, if I should leave them there or if I should take it down and just have the mirrors up there by themselves. All right, you guys. I hope I've inspired you once again with another home decor for your home. And thank you for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had for today. And remember, as always, you guys, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. Bye bye, everyone.